In this video, I'll walk you through an easy method using a new control net model to create 99% consistent AI videos. Hello there, my name is Lenny from Digital Magic. And before I'm going to start this tutorial, I want to show you the power of this new method. In the middle, there's the amazing but very time-consuming Tokyo Jab technique. And on the right, we have the notably faster new method in the forum. They both have some small imperfections and artifacts, but keep in mind, this was my first attempt with this new method. My result improved a lot when I transformed myself into Margot Robbie. To make this method even more easy for you, I created a free settings file, which you can load into the forum. And that's where the real magic happens. If you haven't installed the forum and stable diffusion yet, then watch this tutorial starting at 2.18. Now in the rest of the tutorial, we will install the model, prepare the prompts, load the settings file, apply prompts and generate the video. To install the new control net model, go to this hugging face page and all the links that I use in this video will be down in the description below. Download this safe tensors file and also this yaml file. Now be sure to rename the yaml file with the same name as the safe tensors file and place both files in this folder. I want to give a big shout out to Kiara Rouse who created this model. She is also the creator of the temporal kit extension. She is using the new model in combination with her temporal kit. But in this video, I will show you the incredible power of her new temporal net model when you use it in the forum. When working in the forum, you start by setting up prompts and settings in the image to image tab. This makes it much easier to achieve the results that you want. So for this video, I used the Reliberate model and the Margot Robbie and Laura Laura. So download these and put the Reliberate model in this folder and the LoRa's in this folder. Now we can fill in the prompts and the settings and start to use the new temporal net control net model. So in the image to image tab, I'm going to use this as my prompt and this as my negative prompt. Now I'm going to drag my image in here. I'm leaving the sampling method to Euler A and the sampling steps to 20. I'm going to change the width to 576 and the height to 1024. Set the CFG scale to three and the denoising strength to one. Now we're going to open up the control net window and we're going to apply the new temporal net model. But first we're going to enable the tile control net model, which is also very important for consistent video. We're going to set it to pixel perfect and then this we're going to set to none and then you have this control file which you can choose and also make sure to set control net is more important so now we're going to enable the temporal net model we click enable here no pixel perfect the control type will leave to all preprocessor to none and then here at the bottom you can choose temporal net also make sure to set control net is more important and we're going to leave the control weight to one and in the tile control net we're going to leave that to one as well which is different to what i did in my last tutorial where i had to set the control weight very high to get consistent images but with the combination of these two models that's not really necessary which is awesome now make sure to set the noise multiplier for image to image to zero and if you haven't installed the slider yet then go to this video at 316 so now that everything is set, we can hit the generate button. So as I have prepared this in front, I am very satisfied with the result. But it took me many attempts to get to this result. So I would advise you to keep changing settings like the prompts and the strengthness of the LoRa, the negative prompts, the sampling steps, the sampling method, and maybe even the CFG scale. And keep trying till you get the desired result. Now, before we're going to transfer the data from the image to image tab into the deforum tab, I'm going to show you how you can download the settings file how you can install it and how you can get it up and running. So first things first, click the link down in the description below to take you to this page. So as I mentioned before, it is free to download, but if you can contribute so I can keep continue making more tutorials, then all donations are being greatly appreciated. Now type zero here and click the get now button. Once you have been through checkout, then click the view content button. Now you can download the base the forum settings file and the Margot Robbie settings file. And if you have watched my other tutorials, there's also an option to download these files. Now copy the path file from the base deforum settings file. Paste it here in the deforum tab and then click on load all settings. And if you are interested what goes on down under the hood of the settings file then make sure to watch this video at 10.20. 
Now that all the deforum settings are loaded, the only thing we need to do is transfer the image to image data into deforum. And for this, I'm going to use the Margot Robbie settings file, as it holds all settings that are created in the image to image tab. In the run tab, I can leave the sampler, the step, the width and the height as they are. But if you have different settings, then you can change that here. And you can also change your batch name into something that you want. To change the CFG scale, we go to the keyframes tab and we go here to the CFG. I can leave the CFG scale to three. Now we're gonna go to the prompt step to change the prompt and make sure that you drag it in like this and leave the quotes. These are the quotes that I mean. And then add your negative prompt here. Now we're going to add the control net settings and you can find them here in the control net tab. Enable the first one, set it to pixel perfect, leave the preprocessor to none and for the model choose this one tile. And then make sure to set control net is more important. You don't have to fill in the video path here as I did in my last tutorial. I figured out that it is not necessary to do as the forum does this automatically. Now I'm going to enable the second control node model, click enable. We're not going to select pixel perfect, set the preprocessor to none and the model here the bottom one to temporal net. Leave the weight schedule and set control net is more important. Now we have to go to the init tab, then go to the video init tab to add the path from the base video. So to do that, click your video, click on copy path and then paste that in here. Now make sure that you delete these quotes because otherwise it will not work. Now in the output tab, set the frames per second to the original of your base video. Before I'm going to hit the generate button, I need to show you two settings which you need to know about. In the keyframes tab, you can set cadence to one if you have fast motion videos and you can set cadence to two if you have slow motion video. And in the hybrid video tab, you can open up the hybrid schedule settings and now you can try to variate between 0.5 and 1 with the comp alpha schedule. And this can influence the consistency and the flickering of your video, but you have to try it out because it is different with every video. In the coherence tab, you can set the color coherence to video input if you want the colors from your original base video. If you want the exact colors from the prompts and settings that you have created in the image to image tab, then make sure to leave this to none. So now we finally can hit the generate button. So before we're going to look at the video, I want to let you know that I upscaled the video, applied frame interpolation and used dirt removal and the deflicker node in Resolve. And you can see that process in this video at 1558. I also want to let you know that while making this tutorial, I learned a lot about how the base video affects the consistency of the video that the forum creates. And I will talk about that in my next video where I become a cinematic Navi character. Okay, now let's look at the video. I am an AI actress. I am an AI actress. To me, this looks 99% consistent, except for the head. My mistake, I should have used a head with less details. So, if you want to know more about how I turn myself into a cinematic character, then make sure to watch this video. It will be online in approximately 5 to 7 days.